Let's solve this inequality for n. First, let's find n. Here's n. Well, here's another n, too. Uh-oh, we have more than one n in this problem. If you get a problem that contains more than one of the variable you're trying to solve for, the first thing to do is to group all of those terms together on one side of your inequality. So for this problem, let's group all of our n terms on the left-hand side of our inequality and all of our terms that do not contain an n on the right-hand side. First, let's move 5n to the left-hand side of our inequality. So we want to subtract 5n from both sides. When we take 3n minus 5n, we get a negative 2n. Then we just rewrite everything else. Now we want to move this negative 1 over to the right-hand side, since it does not contain an n. To do that, we add 1 to both sides. We get negative 2n is greater than negative 12. Now we have all of our n terms on the left-hand side and all of our non-n terms on the right. We're ready to solve for n. So in step number two, we want to solve for n. To do that, we want to move this negative 2 to the other side of our inequality. So we divide both sides by negative 2, and we get n on the left and a positive 6 on the right. But what about our inequality? Well, we just divided by a negative number. That means we need to flip over our inequality symbol in order to preserve the inequality. Now we have our answer of n is less than 6. Now let's write this answer in set notation. So in step number 3, we're going to write our answer in set builder notation. We open up our set and write n such that n is less than 6. We close our set and we have our answer. n is less than 6 and in set builder notation, n such that n is less than 6.